OMG, there's only those left. A fire squad. We're gonna run into Walmart for a quick grocery haul. Say hey. Hey. Say let's get it. Let's go. These bagels, babe. Two dollars? What brand is this? Lenders. You get six of them. Where's Lenders from? I always wonder. Oh, they're Pennsylvania bagels. Oh, you never seen these in cases? I think this comes from the back and you know what I mean? The I don't think they sell this whole case. I think this is like in storage and someone left it out and forgot it. But we do love their strawberry lemonade. They usually sell them a dollar each. Man, so Walmart has a slight, you know, it's pretty good sized food shortage going on. As you can see over there, a little bit. Here, all of the cream cheese are pretty much gone. My goodness, here we go. And then here's all the way empty. Usually get drinks from here. I'm glad that the food shortage is not affecting our one of our favorite drinks by Milo's. Extra sweet. You got one? Let's get two. I want two just in case. Yeah, this is pretty much empty. The orange juice is gone except that one right there. And then the creams, they do have some half and half left. Good thing, but where are the coffee creamers? There's some there. Jeez, man. Here we go again. Let's get some cheese for our macaroni. And she asked me what type of cheese. I said Kobe and cheddar. So comment down below if that's what you use in your macaroni. I think some people use a mozzarella too in it. This hasn't been restocked really yet. Some of the stuff is. It's kind of laid out. And what is this? Is this supposed to look that gray like that? I don't know. Okay, let's see. We do need some lunch meat. Let me see what's left here. There's one honey turkey breast of the Great Value Walmart brand. We'll get this. 478. Okay. All right. What else we need? All right. What hot dogs we got? Oh, babe. Didn't we buy hot dogs at Costco recently? So we don't need to get them from Walmart today. Okay. Yeah. They... I do want to try these. Uh, I think these are like the Chicago style hot dogs. The Viano. There's only four of them left? Okay. Yeah. Let me get one. We're looking for this cereal that we showed everybody in the community and our fire squad and it was a new Frosted Flakes. It was like a strawberry milkshake one and like a chocolate milkshake. We've been looking for it though. Look at Kendrick. Uh-oh, uh-oh, he sees cereal. Oh, this is new, look, Lucky Charms clusters. Oh, I heard about these. I was thinking of trying them. And then they have the new Reese's clusters. This is 398 too, so these two are new cereals. You know you want this. Boy, oh look at that, babe. Jojo has cereal now. Are you serious, from Nickelodeon? Hers is three ninety eight. Man, what? Haven't seen Honey Smacks in a long time. Right. It's like all of a sudden here. Yeah. We haven't had it in a long time here. It has been in my A Honey Smacks. This is like old school, right? Okay, what is that, babe? Oh, is that a new Rice Krispie? Yeah. It has clusters of, the clusters of marshmallows. So it's the home style, meaning like this is what you will make at home. Yes, <laughs> cool. It says 50% larger. Other than that, babe, empty, empty, empty. <laughs> Restock now, please. It's a lot gone. Oh, what is this? Tastes like fruity cereal. Is that Walmart brand too? Cool. Yep. Okay, Walmart. Oh, this is new, babe. Look, Fruity Pebble Chris. It's a rice snack flavored like Fruity Pebbles. That is I swear, cereal's coming up with all types of creations these days. Oh, I haven't seen those, the little three times bigger ones. And I've seen these two before, though. What in the world tarnation type of vanilla wafers are these? What is that? Oh, it's gluten-free vanilla wafers, babe. Oh. It's 367. This is the gluten-free section. They even have gluten-free, uh, look at that, Pringles. That's cool. Great for Deshaun's basketball team, but OMG, there's only those left. Sean, I mean, I mean, when are they gonna restock all of this? We do need a Gatorade, though. My goodness, come on! All up there is empty. Down here, the Sean. Have you seen it this empty before? It's been worse, trust me. Last time I said I would get it if I seen it again, and I'm gonna get it. This is made Kentucky Colonel. We're gonna give this a shot. We tried the Xanarin's chicken fry mix. Was that pretty good to you, the Xanarin's? It was. We're gonna try this one next. What is that? Banana cream pie, a dollar twenty-four too. It's a good price. I'm gonna get this. Oh, the chocolate bit. Something new. Something new. 
Dunkin' iced coffee flavored jelly beans. They have toasted coconut, butter pecan, French vanilla, caramel latte, and hazelnut. Now that is lit. That's lit lit. What else they got? These are all new, huh? Funfetti, yeah, these are new. Funfetti jelly beans, so this tastes like Funfetti, what? What in the world? Look, new Cocoa Pebble milk eggs. Babe, Cocoa Pebble. Oh my God. Look what in the world? This is three, what What'd you find for Faith? You got her a baby shark egg? Cool. Mm -hmm. They're not running low on candy, I'll tell you that. Add grass. Edible grass. And bunnies. <laughs> Mom's getting some pasta because she's going to be making some mac and cheese. And it's not looking bad, that bad here, I guess. But uh, come on, where's all of the pasta at? Please okay. have macaroni shells. They have elbow. Well, that's better than yeah. nothing. We'll take those, babe. Let's be thankful for what we can get. These are tiny. Are tiny? Well, they swell up. <laughs> This was cool to show everybody. I've never seen cauliflower like pasta made in this box like this before. This is pretty cool. And it says product of Italy. So they're trying to say we're not only going to make it a low carb version, but we're going to be like, it's from Italy. Okay. It's only $2.98. We love noodles to this day. I know they're no good for us, but we have the chicken is stocked up. I don't know what was here, but it's definitely not here. What was, uh, Look, the beef, I love beef. Comment down below what's your favorite noodle flavor. Beef, chicken, shrimp, what? Um, we do need some noodles for another dish. I'm gonna go ahead and get a teriyaki beef flavor. I'm gonna get two of these. I'm gonna try, I'm coming to Walmart and not grab this lemonade. It's too good. We gotta get it. You pushing a basket, Kendrick? Good job. By the way, these basketballs we brought, they will not stay inflated. So we're gonna return them here at Walmart today. I forgot to mention that earlier. And we found the replacement ball right here that Deshaun wants and pushing a cart. <laughs> Walmart does have empty shelves and a food shortage, but it's on and off. I wouldn't say it's always like that. Yeah. It's not always. It's not always like that. It seems like when they hit rock bottom, they're like empty. And they got to restock that night. Yeah, well, sometimes it's not even that night. Sometimes it's like a couple days later. I mean, if you check out K Money Elliott TV, baby, mm -hmm. I have a Walmart video where they were like completely, completely empty. And we mostly go to Walmart, let's be real, every day. We don't record everything, but we go we every day. We love Walmart, by the way. Yes. So when we talk about this, about the empty shelves and stuff, it's just letting people know that the wars and the pandemic it does cause an impact on food shortages. It's not Walmart's fault. Mm -mm. It's just the way that inflation and things are going in, in the world right now and it's tough. And comment down below, have you seen an effect because of world situations and events on your groceries and yeah. shopping? It affects everybody. I mean, thankfully, Walmart restocks within the yeah, next few and days. It, yeah, they they do it in like segments sometimes. Yeah. That, that must be a hard job to keep up with. To keep up like with in demand. This, yeah, in this time with like the shortages of products, like it must be so hard for them to hurry up and restock it in time. Yeah. Because they're not pro they're not getting the shipments in time and everything. So it's like it's like they're always playing catch up. So comment down below what is the most common food item that you're noticing that your local Walmart has no stock of or you that you see run out a lot of i will say for us pastas pastas and i think it's because um ukraine and russia are, they're like the <laughs> largest producers of wheat mm -hmm. so uh there yes there's wheat and pasta you know they do have potato pasta, but mainly it's wheat from what yes. i understand right yeah so if if they have a big chunk of the world supply of wheat, then that's affecting pasta. That's why there's barely ever any pasta. It's, that's a, I will say, a most common thing. Every time we go to Walmart, it's very scarce. So sometimes you may want to make macaroni, but you're going to have to make do with a different type of pasta shell. So you're talking about that time we made macaroni spaghetti? No, yeah. I will not go there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wouldn't or, that be desperate? You're like, yeah. macaroni. I bet somebody's going to comment. Uh, I made macaroni spaghetti. <laughs> Listen, I don't doubt it won't be good. I think it will be good. Macaroni and cheese spaghetti. Now you got somebody going to be like, oh, I'm going to make Maybe that. I will do it and make it a bake. 
See, if it was a bake, Ooh, well, it would have to be a bake. It's macaroni and cheese. <laughs> Look at me, pepperonis on it. <laughs> but anyways, y'all, so we hope you enjoyed this. Popping up on the screen is another suggested video. Go ahead and click it, binge, binge watch us. Stay blessed. And highly favorite, we love y'all. Peace. Peace.